Come on and praise him for who he is. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Help me. What a mighty God we serve. You see angels. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. no better place to be than perfecting church at. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want to welcome all those watching with us in the cyber sanctuary by Facebook or YouTube. We're happy you tune in to perfecting. We're happy to chat with you. You could send a chat on the line and share with somebody. Help us spread this gospel of the good news. Let them know perfecting is in the air. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory of a truth. What a mighty God we serve. You are God all by yourself. You are God before the beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for another time to come into your presence. We give the glory back to you. Thank you for healing miracles this morning. Oh, we look forward to you. Greater shall you do. Save, heal, and deliver. Above all, send a word today. Like Jesus was visited in baptism. We got baptism today. We ask for your presence. Hallelujah. Bless, praise, and worship. Save, heal, and deliver. Do what only you can do. And we give the glory back to you. And we'll thank you today in Jesus' name. Somebody say, thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, give him praise. Give him praise. Our scripture will be coming from Psalm 121. I'll read to your hearing. You could grab your Bible and share with us. Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, 
which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. Somebody say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many are ready to praise him today? Amen. We're ready to give him more praise. We can't be tired of giving him praise and worship. Immediately following that will be a moment of exhortation. We'll be coming from our old minister, Dwight Walker. Amen. Let's say amen for praise and worship. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire time after time. Born of his spirit and washed in his blood. And what he did for me on Calvary is more than enough. I trust, I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Come on, sing it with us. I trust in God. My Savior, my Savior, the one who will never fail, will never fail, he will never fail. Perfect submission, all is at rest, I know the author of So this is my story And this is my song I'm praising my prison king and savior All the day long I trust in God, I trust in God My savior My savior My Savior, my Savior, the one who will never fail. fail. He will never fail. One more time. I trust in God. I trust in God. My Savior, my Savior, the one. He
you sing it. Think about that. Who else do you know when you call them, they come and answer you? One more time. I trust everybody. Come on. Yeah. Never. He will never fail. I trust in God. about you, but I'm still feeling 1045 service. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. I'll be reading from John 7 and 38, and it says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I believe God. How many people in here just believe God? Hallelujah. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to testify for a minute. Hallelujah, because I believe our testimony heals others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was a few years ago, probably 12, 15 years ago, one day I was just sitting at home, just watching TV, and I just sneezed. It's one of those sneezes where you just hold it in. I sneezed and my heart just went to racing, just went to racing real bad. I didn't know how fast at the time, but I felt myself leaving out of here. Hallelujah. I ran out to my neighbor. I said, hey, I need you to take me to the hospital. I think I'm having a heart attack. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Mm, hey, glory. He rushed me to the hospital and when I was in the car, I just felt myself leaving out of here. I was like, Lord, I can't die now. I can't die now. God, I got to believe your word because you said you'll heal me. Not halfway heal me, but you'll completely heal me. Hallelujah. So when I got to the hospital, they hooked me up to the leads. My heart rate was going at 310 beats a minute. Hallelujah. They had to paddle me to get my heart back in rhythm. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hey, glory, glory. I had to believe God for my healing. Hallelujah. You need to believe God for your healing because he is a healer. If he did it for me, he got to do it for you. Hallelujah. So I dealt with that for a few years. I was in and out of the hospital having the same kind of issue. One day I was just in the hospital again and I remember what Pop said. If you praise him, he'll keep your body well. So I just got out of my bed. I couldn't do much. I would just, I, that's all I could do, y'all. That's all I can do. And that's all I did. Now it's been seven years. I haven't had one issue. I had to wait on God. But I learned you can't hurry God. You got to wait. You got to trust him and give him time. Because he's a God you can't hurry. He'll be there. So don't you worry.
Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Joy comes in the morning. Know that God is nigh. Stand still and look up. God is gonna show up. He is standing by. There's a healing sin. Healing for your pain. Healing for your spirit. And there's shelter from the rain. Why don't you ask him? Say, Lord, send your healing. your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you got it, God can heal it. I don't know what they told you you have. Whatever it is, Whatever it is. Oh, Lord. My, 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 my. Father, it is the entrance of thy word that bringeth light and life. And we pray that the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ that would shine bright in here. As always, may the people be blessed by thee and never impressed by me. Calls through the revelation of thy word. These thy people to see you more clearly, to love you more dearly, and to follow you more nearly. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, and every glad heart said amen. amen. Would you grab your Bibles and turn with me to a very familiar passage of Scripture, Acts of the Apostles, the 10th chapter. And I just want to read the 38th verse into your hearing. I want to say and welcome all of those that are watching by way of streaming, those that are with us on Facebook and YouTube. We appreciate you being here. Perfecting, Holy Convocation is coming. 
I want to thank all of you that responded. Some more need to respond as we will be headed to Arlington, Texas for Holy Convocation. And this is the one you ought to, you ought to want to try to beat. It's, it's going to be some tall preaching going on. And you want to be a part of what God is getting ready to speak into our lives. Hallelujah. So please go and become a part of Holy Convocation. If you have, Acts 10 and 38 indicate by shouting amen. amen. Hear the beginning of the reading of God's word. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost <laughs> and with power who went about doing good and there it is again and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Look at your neighbor and repeat our subject from this morning. Say, neighbor, neighbor. It, works. it works. Do you believe it? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As we have all of these young people that's going in the water. I'm happy for this. Hallelujah. We used to have baptismal at Mac Avenue like once a year during the convocation. And I was, uh, oh, I must have been 12. And I can't tell you how my heart dropped when I walked up in the service and the folk that were already there were in baptismal clothes. I forgot. Ronald was all, I was so mad at Ronald. I was like, why didn't you remind me? He said, you got to know. I, I got to know nothing. You tell me everything else. <laughs> but I'm so delighted to have all of these young people. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you're, if you're in your teens and you're here to be baptized, just stand up real quick. If, you, if you're in your teens or younger, look at here, look at here, look at here. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. That's all sickness is. It's an oppression of the enemy to make you feel that life is not worth living. Hallelujah. From migraine headaches to everything else that comes in between there. Jesus is a healer. That's all I want to express today. That God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing. And we live in a day of confusing doctrines in the Christian church where you have those that tell you healing is no longer uh, in the church. Just whatever pain you have, just look to go to heaven. The devil is a lie. I'm going to say that with some more authority. I said the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. You can go to heaven because it's once appointed under man to die. But you don't have to live your existence on earth racked with pain. And the reason you don't is because he was wounded. For our transgressions, 
He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace is upon him. And with his stripes. Don't allow the enemy to cheat you out of everything that God has for you. All of the promises of God in him are yea and amen. In other words, whatever his word says, my response is amen. I'm, I'm coming around the corner and I'm closing now. I said my response is amen. If Jesus says that he is a healer, then my response is amen. If Jesus says that he can heal me of incurable diseases, then my response is amen. It's not predicated upon uh, what I feel. It's based on what he said. And God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. And that's what he went about doing. He went about doing good and healing all, not some, but all that were sick, all that were oppressed of the devil. Jesus is a healer. And because he is the same today, yesterday, and forever, what that says to me is that he's still healing. Hallelujah. I want you to get this in your spirit. Hallelujah. As a Young person, I want you to recognize that your life is filled with the promises of God and that you do not have to live beneath your privileges, that God can keep you healthy. And if something happens in your life, God has the ability to heal it, to remove it, to divinely intervene. I wish I had somebody here. Medical science does not replace the virtue that was in Jesus. Appeal cannot replace the virtue that was in Jesus. For by his stripes we're healed. So I want you to begin to rehearse this in your mind, in your spirit, and begin to pray what God's word says. He doesn't say, I have to tolerate it. He says, I can rebuke it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we need to exercise that part in the covenant that says that Jesus is our healer. Don't allow other doubters to manage your expectation of God. Woo, I could just go to Holland right now. Folk will love to tell you everything that God cannot do. But I need somebody that's willing to stand on what God can do. And willing to go through whatever they need to go through so you can tell somebody, I knew he could do it. Ah, I knew he could heal. I... He's a mighty God. I said, he's a mighty God. I want us to be quick to pray. Instant in prayer. Instant to believe God. Before you reach for the Tylenol, reach for faith. Oh 
He's my healer. All right, I'm, I'm closing because he's my healer. Look at your neighbor and say, he's my healer. And don't be bothered with people telling you, you don't have to do all that. That's just, no, no, he's my healer. He's my. They whipped him so I could access. Let's stand because I'm finished. I want to get these folk in the water. But I feel a dance coming on. Go ahead, Chase. Church, the proof that we have God is the power that is evident in our lives. The proof that he's still alive and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. I want us to be a church that exercises the stripe initiative. Because if he was not going to heal, he did not have to take those stripes. But because he took it, because he took it from me, I need to take it from him and apply what he did to my life. Would you lift your right hand and say, I'm healed. Healing is a lifestyle. Once God starts healing you, that's all you want is for God to heal you. Lift those hands and hearts. Father, I pray your presence upon each one here. Some of us are dealing right now with pain but you're the healer. So right where they are, remove it and allow them the ability to do things that they couldn't do before without pain because your presence is here to heal. You went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil and we thank you now. Heal our bodies. Heal our bodies. Heal our bodies now. In the name of Jesus, heal, Lord. Send a healing wind. Let it blow over each of us. Let us know that your presence is real. Jesus. I am the ba 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 ba. If there's someone here that says, Pastor Winans, I want to be saved. Jesus is here. You can come right now and he'll forgive you of all your sins. He'll wash you and cleanse you from all of your iniquities. And guess what? He'll heal your body. Come on, they're coming, they're coming. I need a church that knows how to get excited about souls. Come on church and give God praise. I 
I need a church that is excited about souls being redeemed. Oh, Lord. Come on and give God praise. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. need a shout to come from this place. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Our ushers are coming at this time. If you need an envelope, would you please raise your hand and our ushers would be happy and delighted to serve you. All of you that need an envelope, please raise your hand. The ushers will be happy and delighted to serve you. It is time for us to worship God in our giving. Let me try that again. I thought I'd get a better amen. Say, it's time for us to worship God in our giving. Amen. Amen. I want to ask those of you who are watching by way of the sanctuary, this is your opportunity to sow as well because we believe that God will bless you. Amen. When people ask, why do we give? We tell them because it's a blessing in it. Hallelujah. And we trust and believe God. And we all tithe here at Perfecting Church. Amen? I said we all tithe here at Perfecting Church. If you have gainful employment, then you come into Sunday service to give God back what belongs to Him. How many know you cannot be God's giving? Amen. For those of you who can and will, ask if you would sow a seed of $100 in this service. We have things that we need to do, and we know this is just a cinch by the inch. It's just hard by the yard. But those of you who say, I'm going to make that sacrifice to sow a seed of $100, please do so. And that may be you in the cyber sanctuary. I can't see you waving your hand, but God bless you. God bless you. Those of you who can't do 100 do 50 do the best you can. But right now, everyone stand with the best seed that you can. That means the best that you can give. And all of our tithers, we're standing. We're standing. Hallelujah. I want you to lift that seed before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you and we thank you. We thank you, God, for your ability to take so little, but yet do so much with it. Now, God, we ask that you would bless both gift and giver according to their faithfulness and according to their cheerfulness. I want you to repeat after me, not as a dead I owe, but as a seed I sow. And if you believe that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to receive, shout back at me, not as a dead I owe, but as a seed I sow. Those on the end remain standing. The rest of you may be seated. Pass, pass your gift down to the person on. Giving is our worship at Perfecting Church. You may sow the following ways. Cash app, dollar sign, PC Detroit. Please add your name, address, and type of contribution in the notes. PC Text to Give is simple and secure. Text Perfecting to 73256. You can sew by Zell. Use email PC Detroit Zell at gmail.com. Recipient Perfecting Church. You may mail your contribution to Perfecting Church, 7616 East Nevada Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48234. If you are giving in person, giving is available by cash, check, or credit card. We pray Malachi 310's blessings upon you and your household. Thank you for your financial support to Perfecting Church. Good afternoon, members and friends of Perfecting Church. It is time for the Perfecting News. Wonderful women of Perfecting, it is time for another great time of sisterhood and fellowship. Save the date, 
for Friday, May 10th at 8 p.m. and Saturday, May 11th, beginning at 10.30 a.m. as we gather for the C.C. Winans Generations Live Conference. Take it away, C.C. Hello, wonderful women at Perfecting Church. It's C.C. Winans here. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about you all joining me at the Generations Live 2024 conference. Yes, we are thankful for technology that will allow you all to be at the conference while at your church in Detroit. Invite other sisters, invite your neighbors, invite your mom, your grandma. We are going to have an incredible time with these ladies who will be a part of the conference, including uh, Anita Phillips, uh, let me see, Jackie Hill Perry, Joyce Meyer, Cheryl Brady. We're going to have an incredible time. And you know what? Mom Wine is going to be there, and I know you all know and love her. It is going to be powerful. I can't wait to see you all Friday, May 10th, and Saturday, May 11th. Love you all. Calling all men. Prayer and conversation returns this week. Brothers, we will see you Thursday, April 25th at 6.45 p.m. Our gatherings have been great and this week's will be even better. This is an all call for every man to come. You will be glad you did. The Youth Ministry of Perfecting Church invites everyone out for a day of fun and fellowship as we let the good times roll in a skating party Saturday, May 4th from 5 until 7 p.m. Purchase your tickets today and let's all meet at Skate World for a day of family fun. Proceeds will benefit the 2024 Youth Camp. We are on our way to Arlington, Texas for Holy Convocation 2024. Holy Convocation will take place Monday, May 20th through Friday, May 24th. Whether you're there for one day or five, you will be blessed. This week includes the best of the best in Christendom and ends with the concert of the year, Singing Shepherds with host B.B. Winans. Go to www.pfi.world for the full schedule. Now, be blessed by Bishop Brandon Jacobs who will minister Wednesday night. <laughs> there was a man named Lazarus <laughs> and the word <laughs> said, hey Lazarus, <laughs> come forth. <laughs> the word Walked in the dead girl's room and told a dead girl, get up out of your death. The word walked past a centurion soldier who said, hey, what? I got a daughter that's at home sick, but I don't need you to come. Speak the word only. The one is so powerful in a leap of the walls, in a swim in the water, in a crawl in the dirt, and in a fly in the sky. Y'all don't want to have church with me. I said, look at somebody and said, oh neighbor, that one is so powerful in a leap of the walls, in a swim in the water. In a crawl in the dirt, in a fly in the sky, in a leap of the walls, in a swim in the water, in a crawl in the dirt, in a fly in the sky, in a leap of the walls, in a swim in the water, in a crawl in the dirt, in a fly in the sky, the world is just that powerful. sitting next to but look at that neighbor just one more time tonight and say hey neighbor don't you be worried about your family member don't you be worried about your body don't you be worried about your church tell them speak the word have you signed up to volunteer at holy convocation have you registered for Holy Convocation? Please do both today. Remember, we are PFI. Contact our offices at 313-365-3787 if you have any questions. Have a blessed day. <laughs>